Hello and welcome to Pavli. So Pavli Connect team has recently created an app named as Pavli Connect Manager. And using this app, you can actually automate or manage tasks related to your own Pavli Connect account. So in this video, we are going to discuss what are the triggers and action it offers and what are the possible use cases and automation you can set up with Pavli Connect Manager for your own Pavli Connect account. So starting with our trigger window, so here in choose app, let's search for Pavli Connect Manager as a trigger application. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, we can see that it offers three different triggers. First trigger is new workflow error. So if you set up this trigger new workflow error, then whenever any of your workflow will face an error while executing in your own Pavli Connect account, you will get the details or the data of those workflow errors in this workflow of Pavli Connect in this trigger and the automation workflow will get triggered as well. So you can set up automations like to get a WhatsApp email or SMS notification or to update your team members on Slack or some other platform regarding it, regarding the errors in your automation workflows. The next trigger which we have is pass usage limit reach. So in Pavli Connect, you can actually set up a percentage limit that whenever that much percent of your monthly task quota are consumed, then you will get a notification or data in this workflow in response. So let's take an example of 50%. So if I set up a task usage limit of 50%, then whenever 50% of my monthly task quota will be consumed, I will get some data, some notification, some response over here. And the last trigger which we have is task usage limit exhausted. So whenever our public connect account will completely consume, completely exhaust the monthly task quota, we will get that data in response in this trigger event. So let's see how you can set up this trigger. Let's select new workflow error as the trigger event. And after selecting a trigger event, public connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we have to add this same webhook URL into our own public connect account. And how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. So just go to the settings section of your own Pavli Connect account and after reaching to the settings page, click on API and webhooks. And under API and webhooks, here we have a section of webhooks. Click on add webhook, give this webhook URL a name. For example, I'll name it as demo and here just paste the webhook URL. So just copy this webhook URL from this workflow and paste it over here. And at last, it is asking us for the webhook event. So in the drop down, we can see all the three different events. So we are setting up this webhook URL for a new workflow error. So select it. If you want to set up the URL or this webhook for this task usage limit reach, just select it. And then it will also ask us for the percentage that for how many percentage of task consumption you want to add this event, add this webhook URL. So we took an example of 50. So you just have to enter the percentage over here and click on add webhook. And whenever your public connect account will consume that much percentage of your monthly task quota, you will get the response. So let's change the webhook event to new workflow error and click on add webhook. And that is it. We have successfully added this webhook URL in our public connect account. After this, just click on these three dots and click on mark as active over here. And this webhook URL will be activated. So every time we will get an error in any of our workflow in our public connect account, this automation workflow will trigger and we will get some response in this workflow. So this is was all about triggers. Now let's move to actions that what are the action events this public connect manager has. So let's switch to our action window and here in choose app once again search for public connect manager, select it. And then in action event, here you can see a list of different action events. So the first action event which we have is share custom app. So guys, if you have created or built some kind of custom app inside public connect developers platform, using this action event of share custom app, you can set up an automation workflow to share those applications with others. For example, if you are selling some custom built app inside public connect, you can have your payment gateway as a trigger. And whenever you receive a payment, on that payment gateway, this automation workflow will be triggered. And then using this action event, you can share the application with the users on their public connect accounts email address. So how this actually works, let's have a look on them first as well. So let's select this action event, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys to connect our public connect manager account, this time it is asking us for an API token. Now to get this API token, once again, you just have to get back to that API and webhook page over here under settings. And then here you can see the API token. If you haven't generated the API token, just click on this generate API token button and it will be generated. Copy this API token from here, 
and then paste it over here and click on save. So in this way, you can connect your Public Connect Manager account inside your Public Connect workflow by adding the API token of your account. Now, after connecting it here in select custom app in the drop down, you will see a list of all the apps, all the custom apps which you have created. So select the app from the drop down which you have to share. Then here you have to mention the email address of the user with whom you want to share this application. And at last, you have to select the API permission type. So in the drop down below, you have two different types of permission. First one is user and second one is editor. So what kind of permission, what kind of access you want to give this user, you have to select it. And then just click on save and send test request and set up the automation workflow. After this, the next action event which we have is to search the custom app. So using this action event, you can actually enter the name of the app and then in the response, you will get the app ID and exact complete name and the details of that app as well. So if you have created multiple custom apps, you can search for a particular custom app with the app ID using this action event. The third action event which we have is to revoke custom app access. So using this share custom app action event, you have actually shared the application with others. But using this action event of revoke custom app access, you can actually revoke the access of the user from your built custom app. The fourth one which we have is of search workflow. So as the name says, this action event will help you to search any of your automation workflows into your own Public Connect account. If you select this action event, just connect your Public Connect account. And then here in workflow name, you just have to enter the text that may contain your workflow name. For example, I'll enter the name as demo and click on save and send test request. So in response, I'll get a list of all the workflows which I have in my public connect account with the word demo in it. So in this way, you can search for automation workflows into your own public connect account and get the workflow ID as well. And at last, we have a last action event and that is my personal favorite that is change workflow status. So using this action event, you can actually set up automations to turn on and turn off your automation workflows in your public unique account. So when you use this action event, guys, you just have to select your automation workflow that which workflow you want to turn on or turn off. So let's have a look on my public connect account. So we will just go to dashboard. And after reaching to this dashboard, here you will see we have a workflow named as Public Connect Manager and it is active. It is turned on right now. So let's select that same workflow from the drop down, Public Connect Manager. And after selecting a workflow, let's change the status of this workflow to off and click on save and send test request. And yes, this workflow has been successfully paused. And when we will recheck it, we will see this automation workflow will be turned off. It will be inactive. And yes, here you can see. So in this way, you can set up automation workflows to turn on or turn off your other workflows in your Public Connect account. So guys, these are all the triggers and actions that Public Connect Manager offers. I hope this video was helpful to you. So if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can write us in the comment box below or you can come to us on forum.pabli.com. If this video was helpful to you, you can definitely like this video, share it with, with others and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get such more content on automations and integrations. So that is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.